Welcome to Forex Tester 2 video tutorials. In this tutorial, we will tell you about how to start testing. To start testing, select Testing mode. You can see the results of the previous testing here. If you see such a text, no data, please don't worry, it will disappear as soon as testing starts and you will see new data. With the help of this button, you can open as many chart windows of different currency pairs and time frames simultaneously as possible. Data for them will be renewed in the same time. Click Start Test button. In this dialog window, define start date. Select Start Testing from the first date in range. If you check Set Pause Mode after connect, the start test will be in pause mode and charts will not be moving. Click Start Testing. You have the possibility to control testing speed with the help of this slider. If you need to pause, click on pause. Manage the testing process and proceed the testing again. In this drop-down menu, Select the necessary tick. For more detailed testing process, select every tick to make chart updating more frequent. Click on pause. The following buttons will be available only in pause mode. If you click this button or backspace on your keyboard, you step back by single bar. If you click this button or space on your keyboard, you step forward by single bar. If you click this button or F11 on your keyboard, you can step by single tick simply. Attention! The step by single tick depends on the tick package size and allows to see the changes inside the bar if more high time frame is opened. The step backward or forward depends on the selected chart window. For example, if the time frame is 1 hour, then the step will be in 1 hour backward or in 1 hour forward. If the 15 minute time frame is opened, then the step will be in 15 minutes backward or in 15 minutes forward. When the testing starts, you can place new market or new pending orders like in a real terminal. Stop test. The second method of testing is to continue testing from the last date. Click on Start Testing. It means it allows to start testing from the moment when we stopped it previous time. Stop the test. The third method of testing is to define the first date to start. If you check this checkbox Preload Days and select the date with the help of this slider, then the testing will start after the days are preloaded. Click on Start Testing. 
It means instead of an empty place, you will have some history before the testing starts. To uncheck this checkbox means to quickly start testing from any date within generated ticks. Thank you for watching our video tutorial.